Okay, go to the App Store, download Jellyfish Cloud, and then once it's downloaded, open the app. You will have to sign up for an account. You'll go here, you'll punch in the email you'll be using, and this is the same email you will use for everybody in the household. No need to create several different passwords for everybody else. Just make sure it's all the same account. Make sure you all know the password and share it among everybody because when you download it on your phone, you'll just have to log in and uh, use the same account name and password. Very, very simple. Okay, let's sign up. We will get sent a verification code to our email. Go ahead for the verification. We'll hit the verify button, account created, perfect. Now we'll go to the login, punch in the same password that we just used. <laughs> okay, once you're in, it'll load up your account. Now, if you are a current customer and you already have your account connected to your Wi-Fi, all you need to do is hit add existing controller at the very top. It'll search for your controllers. This can take 10 seconds. This can take five minutes. So be patient as it tries to find your controller. You might have to move around the house, get connected to different signals because the mesh networks can be a pain. Once it pops up, it will say, a, you know, a different name. Um, it won't say jellyfish controller. We'll have jellyfish usually in a bunch of letters, but it'll pop up and there'll be add button hit add. Now you can name this whatever you want, home lights, my lights, Smith lights, you know, you can name it. It doesn't really matter. Then to add, that'll add to the account. Give it a second. So this should take, once again, it could take 10 seconds, it could take two minutes. Um, if it just pens and pens and pens for like five minutes, just exit out and it should have worked. You'll just have to reload into your app. So here, finish adding controller. It'll go back and it will return you to the normal login page that you usually have. Um, and now, same thing. You can just open up your app and this will pop up. You'll have your regular categories and lists and all of your patterns um, on here, on your controller. All of your patterns you've created should be saved um, on here and there's not too much different. The setup tab has changed a little bit, but for the most part, it is all the same. Thanks.